Before the video starts, just want to let everyone know that I downloaded OBS, and I don't know if I got the sizing correctly, but I will continue to work on that. Just want to let everyone know before the video started, I am working on that, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Anyways, let's get right into it. Welcome back, YouTube, to another Idle Heroes video. Hope you guys do enjoy. Anyways, let us cue that intro real quick, and we'll be right back. Welcome back guys. Anyways, make sure to log in to get your three free scrolls daily. Um, ignore the other stuff. But it is Heroic Summon, which means we got a little bit to cover. Starting off, we have Grey Dwarf's Blessing, which I haven't done. But make sure that you guys do it. The class-specific gear is always, always fantastic. And the next thing is a fantastic deal if you're going to spend... I wouldn't exactly recommend it, but the Gift of Olivia is a good package. It's only 50 bucks, and as you can see here, for 50, you would get 55 scrolls, 2,500 gems. So, I mean, if you're going to spend, spend on that. Um, I know a lot of people have been iffy about it. It's up to you. I don't like to talk about those too much. Still, decent deal. And moving on, the Hero Lottery basically means if you pull this in any way you'll get some gear. So, if you're using scrolls, it's free stuff. You might as well pull her out of the bag. And um, the rewards, pretty standard. It's kind of a lame week. I don't want to say that, but, you know, we got Blood Blade up there. Everything else looks normal. Um, I don't know if the orbs are always that amount. Um, comes out to 15. So, yeah, that sounds about right. At 400 is the new hero. Um, personally, I like the way that she looks, but I don't like how she, like, flies away and teleports. But, we'll cover her 10-star form in a bit. And then, lastly, what I'm excited for, the Heroic Exchange. They got Tara up there and Garuda. I have 7,000 coins, so I'll probably purchase one of them. I don't really want to do a double Tara. It seems like everyone is doing that now double or triple. So, I'll probably get a Garuda. Um, I can make her 10 star right now. So, a little bit more. Um, E1, you know, not too bad. But that's the events as a whole. Um, so, we should check out the 10 star hero real quick. And again, I don't do any math. I haven't had one, so I can't test. The highest that I've seen is a 5-star um, between the guilds that I'm playing in. Still, she looks pretty good. More situational from what I'm grasping. She's a priest, so again, she's not a main damage dealer, but she's a support. And she doesn't seem like a healer. The big things I want to point out is her shrink, which starts off in her active skill. Um increases damage by 30%, which is huge. And then it puts up a fairy guard. Um, when the hero grants fairy guard, the attacks, basic attacks, whatever, will do more damage. And then heal a little bit. So, again, nothing too strong. It's kind of like, I guess, Heart Watcher in the, the PvE aspect. Increased damage quite a bit. Um, so that's pretty cool, I suppose. I don't really know how to build her, but normally these will tell you a lot of how to build. She has HP, attack, and effect of being healed. I don't really like the effect of being healed or healing effects because, you know, they, they're just interesting. And anyways, moving on. Her passive skill also shrinks. So again, you're doing more damage. They, um will do less damage as well. So, there's that. Um, that kind of seems like her main goal. And then this one is pretty interesting. She swaps speed with someone who is faster than her. Um, every round, as long as it's, you know, not CC and this and that. I don't know if Gustin will take that away, or if Purify can cancel that. 
I really don't know. I wish I could give you the answer, but that's about that. Um, still, super interesting hero in my opinion. And that's about it. I'm not going to summon just because I don't have enough to make it worth it. And I want to save for the anniversary, but I'll still be pumping out content. Maybe we'll summon on the next event for the Baby Junior account. But again, that one's only at like low 200s. So I wouldn't even guarantee anything. Um, this 613, not feeling super confident that it would be worth it. Or that I could get those scrolls back. But anyways, one last thing. Tara is now in the Glorious Relic Shop. Super cool. Um, again, that's why everyone's building him. Just one of those things. And last but not least, he's also in the um, Elite 5 Star Shards. He's at 10% chance. So again, if you're going to build him, feel free to do that. Now is your option. But anyways, guys, that is it. If you guys made it this far, make sure to subscribe. We are steadily growing, and I appreciate every single one of you that is here. But anyways, guys, until next time, this has been Two Point Show. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will check you out in the next video. Peace.